What's up everybody, it's your girl Stephanie. Today I'm gonna show you how to rock a bold lip. I know that bold lip colors can be very intimidating, but in fact they can be one of the simplest ways to really pull a look together. So today I'm gonna show you three different lip colors with three different easy looks. This video is in partnership with Rimmel and today I will be showcasing their Stay Matte Lip Colors and Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Lip Liners. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family and make sure to hit that little bell button to get my notifications. All right, let's get started. We are popping it off with a classic cool matte red lip with a little twist to make the lips look slightly bigger. So let's begin. For all three looks, I'm gonna have my face and brows done so we can dive right into the good stuff. When I do such a bold red lip, I like to keep the eyes fairly neutral. So we are using the matte taupe color out of the Rimmel Magnifies Nude Edition and just blending that all over the crease and the eyelid as well as underneath the lash line. This helps to create a little bit of depth in the eyes and help eyeliner last longer. I have very oily eyelids, so this is a must for me. The liquid liner we are using is the Wonder Wing Eyeliner. This is a felt tip eyeliner that is on the stiffer side, which I like because it makes it easier to apply. With felt tip liners, I like to start in the middle of the eye and work my way in and then out. I just feel like this gives me more control over how much and how quickly I apply. And we're going for a fairly thick straight wing here. The mascara I will be using for all these looks is the Scandal Eyes Curve Alert Mascara. This is a very buildable mascara for those thick elongated lashes. Final touch on the eyes is a bit of a shimmery color from the palette on the inner corners of the eyes. I'm just applying this with my fingers and then we are good to go on the lips. In order to get a nice sharp line, using a lip liner is a very good option. There are 12 shades to choose from, from the Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Lip Liner Collection. These are eight hour transfer resistant liners. The one I'm using here is 02 Red Dynamite. It's super creamy, vibrant, and blends seamlessly into the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. With reds, I feel like it's always a good idea to align the lips. This is a classic kind of pinup makeup, which always has very sharp, defined lines. The Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color we are using for this look is 500 Firestarter. I love a bright red lip, and this has really intense opaque color with a very comfortable velvety matte finish. There are 14 shades in this collection, and they have really impressive staying power. They are touch-proof, kiss-proof, and also waterproof. And also, as you can see, very easy to apply. We could just leave this lip as is, but I want to bring back a little tip that I used to do all the time to make my lips appear a bit bigger. I am grabbing a darker lip liner. This one is 061 Wine, and I am lightly filling in the corners of my lips to create a shadow. You can go as dark as you want here, but I prefer to make it subtle so it's not super noticeable. This method makes the center of the lips pop just a little more and also gives them more fullness and dimension. I think a cool matte red lip is a great gateway into the world of bold lips. If you've never tried it, you just gotta go for it. I love a dark berry lip with a smoky brown eye. It's just so sexy to me. So for the eye look, we are using the Rimmel Magnifies Color Edition. We are grabbing this shimmery warm brown and sweeping it all over the lid. I actually grabbed more color than I had anticipated, but you know what? I just went with it and I really like the end result. I'm just blending this all over the lid, higher than the last eye look, as well as under the lash line. Then I am grabbing this kind of pinky copper color and placing it on the inner eye to middle lash line. And that's it for the eyeshadow. Add mascara and you've got a really simple smoky eye. The lip liner I am using is 07 Cherry Kiss, especially for dark red or berry. It's a good idea to do a liner. This is kind of like a nighttime look for me, so you know I'm gonna be eating or having a cocktail with this look and I cannot worry about anything moving around. This lip color is 810 Plum This Show. The formula of this product is just really soft and easy to apply, and once it dries down, it's really on there. If you wanna go for a more romantic, bold lip, this is my go-to combination. The last look is the boldest, but actually the easiest to apply. For the eyes, I'm going for super subtle since the rest of the look is so unique. So I'm just doing a very shimmery champagne color from the Magnified's Blush Edition all over the eyes and under the lash line. And I'm just applying it with my finger. 
throw in some mascara, and we are good to go into this super cute Ink Me Stamp Tattoo by Rimmel. I've tried this out in a few places now, under the brows, directly under the middle of my eyes, but today I decided to go with a single star on my, I don't even know what to call this, uh, like outer eye socket. And it's so funny because once I stamped this on, I had immediate attitude. <laughs> For the lips, we are using 830 Blue Iris, this beautiful dark creamy blue. This is the kind of lip you just gotta go for. If you've never tried a color like this before, you may be pleasantly surprised by how wearable it is. And if you're really trying to feel unstoppable, this could be the look for you. Like I said, I immediately started having way more attitude when I put this on. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Rimmel for partnering with me in this video. Of course, all the items mentioned will be in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood and hit that little bell button to get my notifications. All right, love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.